We're here at Spartan Stadium, just a few short weeks away from the start of the football season. What we're going to do is go into the Spartan Powerhouse and check out what the Bigsby Varsity team is doing in the weight room. The Bigsby Spartans spent this offseason building toward its upcoming debut in Class 6A Division 1. It's not hard for the Spartans to stay motivated during summer workouts, but competing for the rack might make it feel a little bit lighter. It gives every, everybody something to strive for. I mean, it, there's a lot of new faces every week. We, we try to change up the, we don't do the same thing every week, the same lifts, same competition. So, I mean, it definitely gives the guys something to work hard for. You know, it's a big deal. We work all week in here and uh, concentrate on our core values and just working hard out on the field and in the weight room. Just, it's a big accomplishment for all our guys. For seven weeks of the offseason, the varsity team goes back and forth throughout the week from the field to the Spartan powerhouse. Ultimately, they're working on getting better for the field, but achieving their goals during one week has its rewards for the next. So each week, uh, we've got a weight room component, a field component, and a core value component each day. So something is measured, something is scored each day, and we rank our guys, and then at the end of the week, we rank our guys on their adherence to our four core values. Those top six players in a given week get to use the gold barbell, the best weights, and most importantly, control of the aux cord to play anything they want, from Future to Playboy Cardi to Neil Diamond. Although the music choices don't always go over so well with everyone. Well, when I get it, it's country, but me and uh, Kel, Fug Kel Fugate listen to some country and uh, Hank Puckett, so that's about it. Just us three. The Spartans, riding the state's longest ever win streak of 49, open their season at home hosting the Broken Arrow Tigers on Thursday, August 18th. For 2 News Oklahoma, I'm Ryan Love.